Welcome back to cryptography and network security series. In this video, we'll be speaking about the classic encryption technique that is Playfair cipher. And in this video, we had discussed about Caesar cipher and mono alphabetic cipher. If you have not watched that, I would suggest you to watch that as this is a continuation of the substitution techniques. So first, let's get started with the play, Playfair cipher. So Playfair cipher is a multiple letter encryption that encrypts diagrams that is two letter units rather than individual letters making it complex than simple mono alphabetic cipher in mono alphabetic cipher we used to convert for a there was some alphabet for p there was some alphabet for l there was some alphabet and for e there was some alphabet that is uh, this would give us the cipher text but then here we'll be clubbing the alphabets okay a and p would be clubbed together and we'll get one or two values and then l and e would be clubbed together and we would get the cipher text accordingly so this algorithm is based on usage of phi cross phi matrix of letters constructed using a keyword. So for playfair cipher, we require a phi cross phi matrix and then there has to be a keyword which should be same from the sender end and the receiver end. And along with that, a plain text should be there, plain text or the message which needs to be transported or translated or communicated. So let's look into the rules for encryption using playfair cipher. So firstly, diagrams for given playfair cipher that is club club two two letters together and write it and then any repeating letters if they are there make use of the filler letter suppose if i have b a l l o o n this is the plain text which i have now in this case when i'm clubbing two two letters b a is fine but then l l is repeating no in this case i can write l x and then these two i can take l o and here o n can be written accordingly then after that i have start filling keyword first so in the phi cross phi matrix I have to start filling the keyword whichever is given and once the keyword is, keyword is filled, I have to fill the remaining alphabets in alphabetical order. One thing to remember here is that i and j are considered as one or they are counted as one. They can be written in the same box. In this way, if you are writing the keyword and the plain text properly, you can accommodate all the alphabets in 25 boxes because i and j share similar box. So let's looking looking at the rules. We have if once um, once all the keywords and the alphabets are filled, now we have to take plain text and then write it into di diagram format. And after that, we have to take two two. Suppose it is E and A, then I have to check where is E, where is A. So once I'm checking E and A in this phi cross phi matrix, I have to obey these three rules. If th those two alphabets are in same row, same row, same column, then I have to wrap around the below below that below that box whichever box is there i have to consider that as the cipher text if it is in the same row the rightmost box okay then if they are in the uh, two different rows so for letters in different rows and columns each letter has to be replaced by one in the same row but in the column of the other letter suppose i have these two uh, uh, here there's one letter and here there's one letter so for this i can write the the letter which is un under this column and for this i can write the alphabet which is under this row okay i hope you have understood this even if you have not understood we'll when we are solving the problems it will be very easy to understand so this is about the rules let's see how we actually solve this okay first we have is m o n a r c h y this is the keyword which is given so our first step was to fill the keyword right so i have written m o n a r c h y so the first step is done to fill the keyword Next step was to fill the alphabets. So once this is done, A is already written, so I wrote B. C is already written, so I wrote D. E, F, G, I slash J, K, L, M is already in the first, so I need not write M. N is here, no, I need not write N. O is here, I need not write O. P, Q, R is here, so skip R. S, T, U, V, W, X, Y is here, so I wrote Z here. So this way, if I'm writing the keyword and alphabets properly, I can accommodate all in 25 boxes. Second step is also done. Now I have to take the plain text. What is the plain text given here? The plain text given here is attack. So for this attack, I have to write it in two, two pairs. So AT would be the first pair, then TA would be the second pair, and CK would be the third pair. Now I have to consider each pair and start solving or finding the cipher text for them a and t a is here and t is here so a and t are they in same column no they are in same 
no they are not in same column are they in same row they are not in same row also this is here and this is here in that case i have to take the adjacent ones this third one different row different column swap okay so here for a i have to consider the alphabet adjacent to t or in the same row as t so and for t the same one as a so for a i can write r because r falls in the same line of t so for a i can write r and for t i can write s because it falls in the same line of a so it is r and s i have written r and s here done next i have t and a so t is here again a is here so for a r and for t s so s and r next i have c and k c is here k is here so for c it's it's extreme corner the one which is above okay d is here so for c i can write d and for a for k i can write e okay so this is how i can write the cipher text for for at it is rs and for sa it is sr and for c it is d for k it is e so this is the cipher text which i have obtained i have written it here let's look into another plain text if i take instruments so let me write in instruments so firstly i have to write, write it in pairs so i n s t r u m e n t s and after s there is nothing so in that case i can write a dummy letter or a filling letter s and z so let me take uh, s and z so, so let me take i and n first where is i i is here and n is here i is here and n is here so for n for i any letter which is in the same line so g is here so i wrote g here then for i is run n for n in same line so a is here so i write a here for s and t s is here and t is t is here it is in same row same row i have to take the take the rightmost letter for s it is t for t is there any other uh, letter beside it no in that case it will be l so it is t and l for next we have r and u so r is here u is here oh extreme corners so for r it will be this line m is here so m and for u it is this line line of r so it is z m z i have written next i have m and e so m is here and where is e e is here m and e are in same column so same column means the below most box the adjacent box m adjacent is c and e adjacent is l c and l i have written next i have n and t so i have n here and t here so n for n equivalent would be r because it is in the line of t so r i have written and for t here it is q because it is in the line of n next i have s and z so s is here and z is here so for s it will be t and for z it will be x so i have written down the plain text here so this was about how to fill the phi cross phi matrix and find out the cipher text playfair cipher offers enhanced security over mono alphabetic ciphers yes the the case of increased security is because it has 676 possible diagrams that is 26 cross 26 making the diagram analysis more complex than single letter frequency analysis so here the diagram frequencies are less varied so thereby it will complicate the frequency analysis so speaking of the historical use the cipher uh, this cipher was widely used to, due to its precise security so it was used in the world war 1 and then world war 2 also it was used so despite the complexities if i have sufficient uh, sample of cipher text then we can uh, decipher the message so there is enough room for attackers so in comparison of frequency distributions the playfair cipher flattens the frequency distribution but still reveals enough structure for cryptanalysts so uh, the ideal encryption would be to create a flat frequency plot but playfair only partially masks the plain structure making it breakable with advanced analysis techniques
So this was about the crypto analyst perspective as to how secure our Playfair cipher is. So next, let's uh, look into the problem here. Example problem here. So we have, so we have key as scope. So so first step is to write the keyword in phi cross phi matrix. So let me fill S C O P and E. Scope is filled. After that, I have to fill the remaining alphabets. So A B C is already here. So D E is already here. So F G H I slash J L M N O P is there. Q R S is there. T U V W X Y and Z. So next step. So I have filled the alphabets also. Now I have to take the plain text, write it into diagram diagrams. That is pair of two, and then start solving it. So the alphabet which I the the plain text which I have is Satish is busy. S A T I S H I S B U S Y. So let me. Fill this first. I'll take S and A. So S is here, A is here. So both are in so for S it is A and for A it is H. So I can write A and H here. Next, S for S A it is done. Next, for T I. So T is here and I is here, so they are in different row and different column. If they are in different row and different column, I for I it will be any alphabet that is in the line of T. That is L. So I'll write L here. And for T it is any alphabet that is in the line of I. The same this column but this row itself. So I'll have Q here. So let me write down. So here it will be L and Q here. Next S and H. S is here. H is here. So for S it will be A and for H it will be U because they are in same row. Next I have I S. I is here. S is here. I and S are in different columns. So for S it will be C because it is in the row. It is in the row of. It is in the column of I and J but same row. So C here. And for S it is H. Next B U. So I'll write G here. And for U it is. For and S and Y, S is here, Y is here, S and Y. So S is here, Y is here. So they are in different row and different column. So for Y, it will be below S. That is V. And for Y, it will be S. Same row, uh, same column as that of Y, and same different, same column as that of Y, and same row as that of S. That is P. So P. So here, I have obtained the cipher. Text. So let me write down the cipher text again neatly here, or let me write it down here the cipher text. For S A it will be A H, for T I it will be L Q, then we have A U, for I S it is C H, G Q, and then we have V P. So this is the cipher text which we obtain for the given plain text. So this was about the Playfair cipher. Now let's look into Hill cipher.